Why? Rare Breed, you done messed up. Hey guys, Arion here with Gun Games TV. Before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that I'm currently doing a giveaway. This giveaway includes five of those trigger springs that I talked about in my last video. Now to recap from my last video, these trigger springs right here bring your pull weight from 2.5 pounds to 3.75 pounds. Now I know that Rare Breed says that their trigger pull weight is five pounds, but I promise you it's not. I tried several different trigger pull weight gauges to verify. I used a Wheeler mechanical one that uses a spring and I used a tip, tip, Tipman, I believe it is. Now, the way this giveaway works is it's just really simple. Now, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and share this video if you have not already shared it. I would highly appreciate it just to get my name out there. When you do all of those things, send an email to gungamestvofficial at gmail.com and I'm going to pick from a random selection of people. Again, there's five of these springs, so I have five of them to give away and I'll mail them to you for free. Now let's get started. Check this out. In my last video, I did mention one of the pieces of wrong information that Rare Breed was putting out there. I just wanna say that I, I wouldn't be talking about Rare Breed and their triggers if I didn't believe in the product. The product is amazing and it is the one of the best pieces of innovations that we've received since binary triggers, since believe it or not bump stocks, which I'm not a fan. And I have a lot of good things to say about it. I may have not said in my previous video, but Rare Breed has been kind of avoiding the issues with this trick. And it's the issue with the locking bar being kinked. These are all my opinions and I, you know, Again, I like Rare Breed. Back several months ago, around the time that the kinking issues with the spring started, I reached out to Rare Breed and I let them know in Instagram, hey, I'm having that issue. And they were cool. They just said, hey, send this troubleshooting email. They gave me an email, a message, and we'll get back to you. We'll get you taken care of. And I was like, cool. Good customer service, they were quick. But as time went on, they started to deny the issues rather than addressing it head on. There are a few times that I was just casually scrolling through my Instagram feed and Rare Breed had put out messages screenshotting other people in regards to the kinking issues and the issues people were having with their trigger. Obviously, all of these issues had to do with the locking bar and again, the spring kinking. They first said, this isn't an issue. We've run tens of thousands and a million rounds. You know, I'm embellishing, obviously, but you get the point. They said, we haven't had this issue, so it's not a real issue. Fast forward, I don't know how many months because this COVID stuff has everything messed up. They say, hey, the reason why you're having these issues is because you're pushing the locking bar too far with your finger and you shouldn't touch it with your finger, which is kind of what led me to my last video, right? And of course that made me think like, how can a finger kink a spring worse than a carrier that it just doesn't make any sense, right? Now, allegedly, they're claiming that the reason why this is happening with the locking bar and the kinking of the spring is because of the bolt carrier and the parts they're they used in testing their trigger were high, high quality parts. Now, again, I like Rare Breed and you see where this is going? I'm really at a loss for words because it's like, oh, no culpability, no ownership, nothing. Just, it's your problem. But the builds that I tried the Rare Breed in are my most expensive builds. So you have quality parts. There's people that are using Wilson Combat Bolt Carriers, Young Manufacturing Bolt Carriers, LMT. There's a lot of people, 
across the AR spectrum that are having these issues. You could say that the Gucci people are having issues just like the people that don't have Gucci parts. You would think a company would test the parts across several different tolerances and manufacturers and not just one because that's how it works when you build some type of retrofit system. For example, Superlative Arms, I have like five piston kits from them. They test all of their products against multiple platforms because not all ARs are made the same, custom or not. Fast forward till now, Rare Breed is now offering a trigger spring on their website. I believe it's Rare Breed Triggers slash replacement parts or something like that. I couldn't find it on my mobile phone. I had to pull it up on my browser on my computer. Now I'm not gonna get into the pricing or anything like that. As you know, small parts always cost quite a bit and then you ship and you pay like $90 for shipping. Not saying that Rare Breed is gonna charge that, it's just how it is in the industry. But look, you're like, okay, they're offering a spring, cool. I'm cool with that just in case mine gets king. Throughout this entire time, they've been denying the claims or saying it was because of your, your finger. Then, Yes, and I say then, they offer a locking bar that's similar to not just my modifications, but the modifications that Armament USA is doing or other YouTubers, that's where I got my ideas from as well. Which makes you wonder if it is caused by other bolt carriers and it's caused by other companies and it's caused by your finger, why would they offer a locking bar? And as of March 1st, all of their units now have that replacement locking bar. So you don't have to go and purchase it after you purchase the trigger. So is it my fault, my parts fault, or is it your trigger? Now color me confused because I promise you I kind of am, but I think they kind of admitted that, hey, we messed up without saying it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally cool with them not saying it, but saying it in another way, kind of, sort of. But I would still like that ownership, like, hey, we just overlooked this. So if you don't want to do a crazy mod that I did, or that Armament USA is doing for individuals, I guess uh, the owner is slammed right now, then you can get the locking bar from Rare Breed and a replacement spring if you need one. There's also other various places you can get that spring. And you can still do at least my V1 mod with the bolt catch spring and a D-ring with an extractor pin or a gas block roll pin without having to do any modifications yourself. And if you don't have those spare parts, then I don't know what to tell you, but spend $87 on shipping. The main issue that I have with the modification that they did is they, in my opinion, they didn't actually fix the issue because just the way the spring is designed and the design overall, it'll simply cause the spring to get kinked. But again, I like Rare Breed. Their triggers are great. It's a great quality. The finish is nice. It's just a really well-designed trigger. And I'm not going to shy away from that fact at all. So at least now you have another option and you kind of know the backstory of what has transpired since they were released. And while they haven't taken ownership, at least they tried to implement something half-baked or not. They still implemented something that will help individuals who can't get their trigger running. And I commend them for it. In four months time, no less. I believe it was released in like, January. With that said, again, my name is Arion, and if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget about the five springs I have to give away. They only come in a five pack. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Again, we're gonna have more videos coming soon. You're looking at the Evolution Weapon System Bufferless Carrier. You're looking at a Streebog exclusive and some other cool stuff. Even if the products are quite old, some of the videos that I've seen for them, I'm just like, nah. If you didn't like this video, just let me know. I mean, I can't make better videos unless you guys tell me. Keep in mind, I will be doing videos at a range or a BLM. Time's tough and I can only make so much money from OnlyFans. That's why I need your support. Thanks for watching.